Hello YouTube, WJ's Handy Dad here, and today I'm going to add some grill lights that will come on automatically with the high beams. Now if you've been watching my channel, you saw I added fog lights to this 2010 P7B, and I've been driving around and definitely the high beams need some assistance. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today process is going to be pretty simple since I've already added the fog lights and take this grill off mount the lights wire them to the fog light power and put a relay between so that when the low beams are on the fog lights are on and when the high beams are on the grill lights are on same sort of setup I have in my 2008 So this is how the lights mount. There's a bolt with a lock washer and a nut that's going to secure the bracket through there onto whatever part of the vehicle. And then you've got the two bolts that are going to go through here and they are going to sync up with those. They've already pre-installed the nuts in there. And then uh, I'm guessing that allows you to uh, change the aim somewhat. This is where we are going to mount them. And somewhere along there will be where I drill the holes to hold the bracket. Although this is plastic, not metal, it will hold those lights. This gives you an idea where I mounted them on the 08. And tell me in the comments if you think Disney has ruined Star Wars. It's a good idea to go ahead and preset your brackets. I put some JB Weld on the bolts there because these brackets, they didn't plan very well. The bolt will spin. So when you're installing this, you're not going to have access to this side of the bolt. So you can't keep it from spinning. So you can't tighten the nut on it. <laughs> which kind of defeats the purpose. So you get stuck with a mount the bracket first or mount the bulb to the bracket and neither one is usually ideal. So you want your bracket to have the bolt pre-mounted so that you can mount the bracket to the light and then just tighten the nut on the bolt once you've drilled the hole. Anything less than that is frustrating and time consuming. You also need to decide which way you're going to mount. So for me, the brackets need to be in this position with the bolt going through this direction. You also need to decide the orientation of this before you glue these, obviously. So if you're mounting where the bracket is hanging down, so the light will be below whatever this is bolted to, then the bolt goes through this way. If you're mounting these where the bracket is mounting onto something and the light is above it then you want the bolt to go through the opposite way so just keep that in mind like I said usually they try to make these where the bolt won't spin in there but they didn't do that on this one and I don't think that you can mount this to the vehicle and then try to line these up through the, the grill there I just I think that's going to be too difficult. So while that is setting, I'm going to measure out and pre-solder as much wiring as I can do off of the vehicle. It's always easier. Buying and working on these fleet vehicles, one thing you find out real quick is a lot of them are kind of Frankenstein and this one's no exception. So I just discovered this now. This grill says 2008 Crown Vic and it came off of the 2010 so i'm guessing at some point they must have damaged the one that came with the vehicle and salvaged this from another one 
I'm going to take about five inches of wire between these two to give it the most flexibility as far as mounting position and then probably a foot or so of extra wire after that to run down to the power source so I'll probably put in about 18 inches just to give me some uh, wiggle room there in case I have to route it around anything. Power is going to go through the relay and we're going to wire this one differently than typically what you might think. So here we're going to have one input going to one of two possible outputs. So the hot on the middle, 87A, will go out to the fog lights and then the hot on 87 will go out to the grill lights and then the power coming in from the fog light button on the dash will come in to 30 and then 85 will be grounded, 86 will be hooked up to the high beam hot and so when the high beam kicks on it'll trigger the relay and it'll switch from this hot going to the fog lights it'll switch it and make it go to the grill lights here is all of the prep and setup that you can do off of the vehicle so I've soldered in five extra inches of wire between the two fixtures I have glued the bolts in there so they don't spin attach those put a little RTV on them so they won't spin loose wired up the relay power for the grill lights coming off of 87 and the ground shared at 85 power that's going to go back to the fog lights coming out of 87A power that's currently going to the fog lights is going to attach there this is going to connect to the hot on the high beams to trigger the relay. I'll just route the wires, hang these, and be done.